Hello, welcome to another edition of Ask the Chiropractor. I'm Dr. Brad Hulse, the chiropractor. So we're coming at you today with another question that we've been asked. We get asked this from time to time. Uh, how do I know when it's time for me to start chiropractic care? How do I know when it's time for me to call and make that first appointment? How does one know when it's time to go see a chiropractor for the first time? So a lot of people ask this question and they never think to ask a chiropractor this question because, well, maybe they don't know a chiropractor yet. So I'm gonna try to answer this. And again, if you have a question about chiropractic, the best person to ask is a chiropractor, not a dentist, not a podiatrist, not your family doctor. And the reason I say that is because they are not educated in chiropractic care. Chiropractors are. So what's a good time? How do I know when it's time to go see a chiropractor? Well, I'm gonna answer this a few different ways, and this might be one of my longer podcasts, but here we go. I'm gonna start off first with the most obvious is why people come to a chiropractor, and that's because their spine hurts, their neck, their lower back, somewhere in their spine, they're having aches and pain. And maybe that ache and pain is traveling down into your arm or into your leg, or maybe it's going to the back of your neck into your head, giving you headaches. And, and you know, that's a pretty obvious reason why people come to a chiropractor. But a lot of times people really want to know, like, when is it bad enough and I should go? Well, you know, it's, it's bad enough as soon as you think it's bad enough. But let's just say that you can look to the left so far, but not to the right as far. That's an indication that something in your spine biomechanically is not moving the way it's supposed to. Let's say you can lift one leg higher than the other leg. Let's say you have somebody watch you walk and they notice your gait's off. That's a good reason to go see a chiropractor. Um, a lot of times I tell people to back up to a mirror and take a, have somebody else take like a marker and draw above each ear, each shoulder, each armpit, each hip and see how, long, how well those lines line up. If those lines do not line up very well, your spine's probably kind of a little crooked. It's time to go see a chiropractor. So that's kind of the easy, that's the muscular skeletal stuff. But a lot of people come see us um, for non-muscular skeletal stuff. A lot of people come to see a chiropractor because they're seeking an alternative form of health care other than say maybe some more medicine or maybe like I don't feel like I'm having headaches because I don't take enough medicine. I feel like there might be a cause to my headaches. Well, if you have a health condition and you've been really suffering from a health condition and maybe you don't think more pills is the way or maybe that you see these um, opiate opiate problems that we have today with people taking too many opiates and getting addicted to that and that leads to other drugs and that leads to problems and maybe you don't want to go down that road. Uh, speaking to a chiropractor about your condition or your issue would be a very, very good idea. Um, you know, people with headaches, people with neurological things, a lot of them have got great success with chiropractic care. Even my own family, uh, how the whole of us family got involved in chiropractic, had a lot to do with my grandmother having female health care problems and not being able to conceive. And they went to the chiropractor, and next thing you know, she's pregnant. So um, there's a lot of different reasons why people see chiropractic care. So if you've been having a health problem for a while, an ongoing health problem, and maybe you've already on your third medical doctor trying to seek answers or help for this, or maybe maybe not your third doctor, but maybe your third different med medication or your third different course of actions for this, uh, maybe it's time to go speak to a chiropractor, get a different approach. Um, most of us, we're not anti-medicine, like we won't tell you, oh, we're going to the medical doctor is bad, but we'll maybe give a different spin, a different loop on it. And we can look to see what medications you're taking so we, we can learn the side effects and stuff like that. So, you know, as you heal, as you get better and you're taking a medication for condition, let's just say condition X, and the body gets better and gets more well, um, the medication will do something in your body. And if condition X is no longer there, it's gonna find something else to do and that's when the side effects go way up. So talk to your chiropractor about the medications you're on and why you're taking them and together, maybe with help from the pharmacist, you can learn a little bit more about when the medication stops working. So if you have an ongoing healthcare problem that you've been dealing with for you know more than six months, you're not getting the results, you go ask a chiropractor, see what the chiropractor can do. If you came to me, I would tell you what we would expect to see on examination, an x-ray examination prior to starting care. So if you came told me, hey, you know, I'm having these really, really bad headaches. I've seen like three different doctors. I tried all this different medication. Can chiropractic help me? I would tell you why I expect to see you know, on exam this, and I expect to see an x-ray this, and this, and this, and if we don't see those things, then, you know, then, then maybe, maybe it's not a chiropractic problem, I don't know, but that's usually how we do things, is we, we will kind of lay it out for you ahead of time, and tell you what we expect to see, do the examination, and see if those things show up. If they don't show up, then, you know, that's a different story, but, you, you know, a lot of times we find those things. 
Um, the other nice thing about chiropractic is there's no negative side effect, right? Like I went to the chiropractor for condition Y, I got adjusted for a while. Condition Y still bothers me. But the good news is probably two or three other things got better while you're under chiropractic care. So even when chiropractic care might not be the answer, by going to the chiropractor, you're still gonna improve, you're still gonna get better in other areas. So, and then, you know, just have an open dialogue with your chiropractor about, you know, why you're there and what, you, what your goals are and what you hope to achieve. Another area where chiropractic excels on is we get a lot of new patients from, hey, I've tried everything else under the sun, nothing else is working. I thought I'd come see you last year, my last hope, let's see what's going on. So, um, we always love seeing those patients too, but we wanna to try to see it before that. So if you've tried, like I said, three or four different things, you're not finding answers, speaking to a chiropractor is not a bad thing. Um, another reason people come to see us is prevention, right? A lot of people come to see me for prevention. I've even had uh, surgeons, medical surgeons come see me because they heard that a lifetime of hunching over doing surgeries can really put a lot of stress on your neck and that causes a lot of arthritis degeneration in the base of your neck and that arthritis degeneration goes into your hands and that can make your hands and your arms achy and sore. And there's an article that said they don't get to enjoy retirement because of all the years of working and damage to their neck. So they asked me, hey, can you take care of me to make sure I don't, I can make sure I can enjoy my retirement because of the job that I do. So I actually have medical doctors that seek care for me in order to enjoy their retirement later in life. And that's okay, that's prevention right there. So a lot of people that have tough labor jobs, um, they will come see a chiropractor because they want to get adjusted and keep their spine loose and keep it healthy and try to keep the arthritis away so they can enjoy their later years. So prevention is a big reason why people come see us. So if you want to know how to stay young, you want to know how to stay active, you want to know how to keep yourself going, that's a big reason why people come see us. Another reason why people see chiropractic care, performance. I mean, right over my shoulder right here is the ice hog logo, right? So the, the players come see us before games and before events because they want to do the maximum speed, maximum effort. So if you're an athlete, you would see chiropractic care because maybe, you know, it's like, I feel like I could go faster, but I'm not going faster. I think I could react quicker, or do things quicker, but I feel like something's hindering my, my, my speed or hindering my, my development. As chiropractors, a lot of times we're able to adjust you and help you. They've been able to do research papers where the athletes can jump higher, run faster, and have quicker reaction time when they've been adjusted versus when they haven't been chiropractically adjusted. So some people come to seek us to improve their performance. So if you're an athlete, you don't feel like, you're, you feel like some of your performance is not, just not quite there, getting adjusted a lot of times can help. Um, like I said, I go to the ice hockey games, take care of the players. We do more care before the game than we do after the game. A lot of people think, oh yeah, of course you have a chiropractor at a hockey game. Those guys hit each other. I don't really see a lot of them after the game. These guys want to skate faster, skate quicker, have better reaction time, and just move easier, more free when they care about after the game. So it's about the game, feeling good for the game, not so much after the game. So, you know, if you're a good athlete, I take care of a lot of high school kids that went on to become Division One athletes and Division Two and Division Three athletes, right? We work with Rock Valley College. We, we help support their athletic program. Same idea. They just want to stay healthy and stay strong. Speaking of staying healthy and stay strong, if you're someone who's chronically ill, chronically sick, chronically battling the same things over and over again, that's another reason why people start chiropractic care because of this chronic always being sick, always having headaches, always fighting sinus problems. If you just do this thing over and over and over again, year after year after year, uh, chiropractors a lot of times can sit down with you and help address the cause of why you keep having this reoccurring thing every year. Like, man, every fall I catch a cold and I'm out of work for a week because I'm just miserable. Well, come see a chiropractor. Let's see why every fall you're catching that cold. What is it about your body that's weak and not doing its job that every fall you have to suffer. Or, or let's say every month I get a headache at the end of the month. Let's, let's come get adjusted. Let's figure out what's causing that because that's not normal. You know, getting a headache once a month is not normal. Uh, getting a cold every winter is not normal. It, that doesn't have to happen. You can strengthen your immune system. You can get stronger and better and avoid these things. So, and then you see a lot of kids come in here. Why do kids start chiropractic care, right? Well, kids, most kids start chiropractic care because mom and dad have chronic issues and they're trying to make sure that they don't pass it on. I mean, honestly, that's the number one reason why we see kids. But a lot of kids just want to come in. They want to, like I said, with the athletes, they want to feel better, they want to run better, they want to grow better, they want to make sure they grow up with every advantage they can to be healthy and strong. So mom and dad bring them in. 
We see lots of babies. We, we help a lot with them. I always say if the baby's not sleeping right, baby's colicky, or baby's not having good bowels, we see big changes with that. A lot of parents, like when the kids are starting to walk and crawl, the parents want to bring the kids in, have us evaluate them, make sure that everything's going the way it's supposed to be, so we don't set them up for things later on in life that could be altering the way their growth and development. So there's a few reasons why you when it's time to start chiropractic care, you know, bottom line is you, you're not moving very well. You feel locked up, you feel tight, you're having aches and pains. Another reason is you just, you know, you've gone to the doctor, you've tried three or four treatments for something, you don't feel like you're getting better instead of just doing more of the same thing over and over. I know a lot of times like, hey, you know, I'm having this, you know, let's just say sinuses. My sinuses are really bad. Well, what the doctors say, well, he tripled the medication. Oh, so the medication, it didn't work. He tripled it, giving you three times the amount. Um, you know, if, if you're tired of hearing those answers, you're not getting success there, come see a chiropractor. The other thing is, hey, I've tried everything, nothing seems to work for me. Go see a chiropractor. Or hey, every summer I deal with this, or every fall I deal with this, or every at the end of every month I deal with this. Go see a chiropractor, that's not normal. Maybe we can figure out why you're doing that all the time and break that cycle. And again, why do kids come in? Kids can usually come in like I said, they don't want to buy my dad or have issues, and they want to make sure that kids don't have issues. Hey, so that's the chiropractor. That's this week's episode of Ask the Chiropractor. Why do I start care? How do I know when it's time to start care? So if you have a question for the chiropractor that you'd like to hear me answer, I'm Dr. Brad Holstbus, chiropractor here in Rockford, Illinois. I'm a graduate of Palmer College of Chiropractic. I am an ICA, International Chiropractic Association member and the rep of my state. So if you have a question that you'd like to hear me answer about chiropractic care, feel free to leave me a message below, shoot us a comment, go to Rockford DC, R-O-C-K-F-O-R-D-D-C.com. Leave me a message there and I'll get back to you. Now maybe next time you turn on, you'll be the question of the week. All right, everybody, stay healthy, stay strong. Good to talk to you.